So I guess we're uh, jumping right into it. We're talking about the Israel-Hamas conflict that's going on. Uh, a lot of uh, controversy, a lot of rumors, a lot of things. I'm, I'm kind of curious, what are your thoughts about you know, some of this news? Have you even paid attention to it at all? You know, unfortunately, I can't really speak about it because I don't know anything about it. I haven't read a single article. I haven't listened to any of it. Because, frankly, I just don't know, don't care. Right. Because, you know, on the one side, you've got the Muslims. On the other side, you've got Jews. They're both of Satan. And so, you know, let them be anathema. You know, Jesus Christ gets all the glory, and uh, these people are all doomed and going to hell anyway. So, well, because, frankly, I just don't know, don't care. Because, frankly, I just don't know, don't care. Because, frankly, I just don't know, don't care. And the title of my sermon tonight is Free Palestine. Free Palestine. They just have them crammed into some dirty little Palestinian reservation where they can't really make it. They can't really succeed like that. They can't really get anywhere. They don't have freedom today. Yeah, steal from those people. Yeah, make their lives miserable. Yeah, make them have to drive an hour to get to work or make it impossible for them to commute to work. Yeah, take away their houses. Take away their businesses. Throw them out in the street. Make it impossible for them to drive down any roads to get where they want to go. You know, lock them up in a little reservation, a little concentration camp. Why would I feel that way? How is that a biblical viewpoint? Shouldn't we care about our fellow human beings and want them to be saved and love them and uh, want them to be uh, free indeed through Jesus Christ. These people are all doomed and going to hell anyway. So, well, because frankly, I just don't know, don't care. Right. 